Hello! Hi guys! Welcome back to One Man's Junk. Alright guys, as always, uh, just a quick warning here. If you are under the age of 13, I'm sorry to say this channel, these videos are not intended for your viewing. But moving on, we have some very exciting news. We have a brand new partnership. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Steve from Franken Culture. So if you're not familiar with FrankenCulture.com or, or Franken Culture on Instagram, I would highly suggest you check it out because they have a new representative. All right, so we have some great general finds today. We've got a lovely uh, action figure identification, but we have a knock your socks off finds of the day section. So make sure to stay tuned. You are about to see something which it's very, very, very rare. It has stumped all my friends. They've never seen it before. Boom, just hold on and we'll show you. All right, guys, so let's have a look at these great general finds. So first of all, you may have noticed this. This is in fact a piece from a board game. This is the Dark Tower from Milton Bradley. And of course, this is a Dark Tower. It's actually quite a cool little piece. But unfortunately, it is completely rusted, so it is purely for display purposes. How about that? Doesn't look like much, or does it? Yes, this is a BC biker. So this is from the 90s, it usually comes with a motorcycle, and you'll be absolutely correct, it is pretty much a biker mice from Mars, Disney, dinosaurs, uh, kind of knockoff crossover. So it's just fitting in with that kind of anamorphic um, motorbike rider that was pretty popular there in the 90s for a while. But uh, not extremely valuable, but pretty cool little figure, and he's got his little place within toy history for sure. And here's another one. How about that? Yes, you may remember I mentioned King, uh, sorry, Louis um, from uh, Playmates Tailspin. Well, this is Baloo, and I'm very happy to say I don't think I have this one. So I think I'm almost complete with my uh, Disney Playmates Darkwing Duck and Tailspin collection. Here's one you don't see too often. Now, right now he is a general find. This is a Swiss Army Hook from Mattel, uh, of course, from the Robin Williams movie Hook. Um, he is missing his four accessories, but uh, check back in with me next week and we'll see if we have any update on that. Here's another great find that um, I'm actually been secretly collecting them. I say secretly collecting them because they are quite sought after. They're pretty rare. You don't come across them too often. Um, but let me show you. This is... Yes. Ghost Battalion or... Bone Brigade? Yes, so these two figures here, they're actually, um, there was, one, two, four, six, seven, there was about 12 figures made in total, and um, you have the space line, and you have the army line, so it, it is basically what I, what it says, it's a Bone Brigade, and you've got these skeletons here in spacesuits, or in army gear, and they come with lots of big grey accessories. Um, this is all I've managed to find thus far, uh, purely because I've been collecting them on a budget, and this far I am $2 in. So, we're doing pretty good with that. Here's another obscure line. Um, it's actually from Tonka. As you know, Tonka is one of my favorites because they do make the Rock Lord. Um, he's a fairly rare figure. Um, it's from Spiral Zone, but unfortunately he, he's basically naked. He usually comes with like some kind of overalls or uh, you have like armor that goes around him, or helmets, accessories, what have you. So it's kind of like an action man from the 80s on a smaller scale, but it's a pretty cool line. I'll show you some pictures of uh, some of the best pieces from it. So these next ones, you may be wondering why they're not featuring in finds of the day. Well, that's because without overstating it, our finds of the day today are truly spectacular. Um, but without further ado, have a look at this. Yes, Toxic Crusaders, Candy Containers, Dr. Kill em off here. You've got Toxie, Major Disaster, and No Zone. Now the majority of them here, the decals are in good condition here. They are still full of the candy, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but certainly these two here are pretty sticky. But what a great little set, really well detailed. And Toxie's little bandana here is actually made of rubber instead of hard plastic. There's only one place these guys are going, and that's right on the shelf over here. And our next item is... Did, did you hear that? 
Yes, that's right. Our next item is none other than Cuban Pete. Uh, those of you who don't know, he's the king of the Ramba beat. Easily one of my favorite ever Jim Carrey songs. He's sang a few, check him out. And without doubt, my favorite scene from The Mask. Sticky on The Mask, yes, you may have noticed a fabulous new addition to my glow in the dark here. This is a vintage mask, I believe from the animated series light switch cover which of course glows in the dark what an amazing piece and sticking with glow in the dark my final general find is something truly cool it is none other than goofy from the disney christmas carol i did rip him off the card because i picked him up for a few bucks and i will definitely be adding this to my glow in the dark section here have a look at that how cool is that all oh, glow in the dark he's got little chains he's even got a little glow in the dark door knocker so this is certainly a great little find and i cannot wait to display him within the shelf so that way you know he's gonna glow all right folks it's time for action figure identification so first one here this is one that doesn't look like much it is a green translucent plastic uh clearly it's a helmet and it is from mattel that's right, it's from one of the later figures from the New Adventures of He-Man series. Um, I believe it's Hydro or Hydro, something like that. Staying with Masters of the Universe, here is a lovely piece. It's actually uh, fairly sought after because unfortunately it does seem to come apart or get lost. Yep, that belongs to none other than Rio Blast and that is the headpiece for his backpack. See the shades right here? And here's another one from Mattel, Masters of the Universe. To the uninitiated, this may be a bit of a mystery, um, but those very familiar with the line, this belongs to none other than Multibot, which would be Modulox Robotic Ally, brother, cousin, I'm not sure. But regardless, the limbs are interchangeable, um, so you can build a monstrosity that involves limbs from Multibot and Modulox. Here's an interesting one. Again, another fairly sought after piece. This is vintage Star Wars. It is from Kenner and it belongs to the Rebel Transporter. It's one of the two double barrel guns. Sorry, let me restate that. It is one of the <laughs> single barrel guns that comes with the Rebel Transporter. I'll show you a picture right now. All right, guys, so you may be thinking, wait a minute, you showed us this before. Are you trying to pull a fast one here? That is true, I have showed you these before and I incorrectly identified them as Bone Age. Well, I say incorrectly identified them, they were originally intended for Bone Age, but then these very same accessories, and I don't even think they changed the coloring neither, were packaged with Swamp Thing. So I believe I've touched upon this before, where you have Kenner and they just reuse the molds, especially for accessories, accessories such as this. So. Bone Age, Swamp Thing, either one is the correct answer. This may look just like a simple missile to you or I, but this actually is the missile that comes with Dr. Paranoid from the Street Sharks, Mattel. So this is actually a very, very hard piece to track down. And actually, up until a few months ago, there wasn't any, on, any photos to be found online neither. So it really was hard to try and identify what the heck this missile looks like. Well, we got it now, folks. So uh, you may be familiar with it. It's actually a line that I mention quite often, one that I grew up with. Um, it is none other than Mighty Max, uh, released under Bluebird in the UK. And this one actually belongs to the hand playset, which would be this one here. So that will certainly come in useful. Here's some nice uh, knockoff or KO pieces, I should say. Uh, you've got this mace here. This is actually uh, from Soma Fantasy World. And this one here, it's actually, it's, this mold's been used quite a few times. So it's very generic. It gen tends to be packaged along with, you know, like your Galaxy Warriors, your Galaxy Fighters, your Troll Fighters. So it's certainly a nice little pickup. Here you go, how cool is that? So it looks like a fly that is a sort of projectile and that is 100% correct. That belongs to a blurp ball. So a kind of mad ball knockoff which you would squeeze and it would 
fire out this little guy and it belongs to the frog one. So I'll show you a picture of that one. It's actually a really cool one and I'll be holding on to that until I find it. All right, so if you watch uh, Naz or Nostalgic, you may have seen the video where I actually picked this up and I was drawing a blank. I could not remember what series this belongs to. Well, I am happy to say I remembered at last. It belongs to none other than Ghost in the Shell. All right, guys, and finally, here's a really cool one here. Have a look at that hologram. Isn't that just killer? Wow. So this is actually a saddle and it belongs to none other than the Supernatural line. It's quite a large piece. So we'll zoom out in a second here just to show you what we're looking at. Here we go. So I believe that belongs to the Dark or the Black Dragon, which is a very rare piece from this set. Very hard to come by. So this saddle here is no joke. This is a knockout piece. All right, guys, it's that time again. It's time for finds of the day. All right, guys, so you may notice my uh, talking He-Man Castle Grayskull uh, set here. Unfortunately, it doesn't work, so I haven't heard him speak. Um, this here isn't actually one of my finds of the day. This is something that's been in my collection for quite a while now. It lives on my shelf with my Crystar Dragon and my Castle Zendo, so uh, and Warlord as well. It's one of those pieces that just will not move. I absolutely love it. But it is related to one of my finds of the day, which is none other than... Oh, look at that! So from the same maker, um, it's of course a licensed Mattel product. This here is the act this is actually another toothbrush and cup holder so unfortunately we're missing the cup and there's uh, supposed to be a little piece here that you can kind of put your toothbrush into so it does have a few issues but for the price I can't complain and it does look pretty cool and it fits in nicely with the collection there but staying on the same subject wow look at that yes I got this one too so this is the he-man soap dispenser um, again, unfortunately, I, it's not working, but what a great looking piece here. So by all means, I have nearly the full set of these kind of Mattel licensed He-Man like household objects. Um, the big one that's really missing would be the water sprinkler, but that is extremely hard to come by. All right, so just before we get to the main event, to that huge find that I mentioned, here's a little bit of something. This here, of course, Crash Test Dummies. This is the baby that ejects from the seat. I never had this one as a kid. I may have shown you that I have one carded, which I've kept, I still have it, but I actually found one loose for a few bucks. So I'm very happy to add that one to my collection. I have it on my shelf. I promised you a spectacular find, and here it is. It is something that is very seldom, rarely ever seen. It is a knockoff figure. It is from the 80s, it's vintage. It's from a very popular movie in the 80s. And the best part is, is that hardly anybody's even seen nor heard of it. I picked it up for a bargain and I am very, very, very proud to present none other than, boom, Crocodile Dundee action figure by Lennard. Wow, guys, I cannot, overstate enough this is an absolute gem you may recognize the the facial features you may see that he's got like a kind of little um, headband here that's colored in blonde to to dye in that's because this is the same mold that was used for Leonard Dragon Force the ninjas which I have shown before on the show but this is the crocodile Dundee action figure as far as I'm aware this is the only crocodile Dundee action figure that was released at the time and of course, he is unfortunately missing his hat, but I did happen to find an incredible looking hat here that looks, well, it looks good to me. Looks like Crocodile Dundee. So there's only one thing to say, and that's, you call that a knife? Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Sorry, it was a really bad accent, but I couldn't resist. All right, guys, so that's us. Uh, I hope these finds of the day did surprise you or showed you something that you perhaps have never seen before. All of these will of course be staying. These are firmly going in my collection. I just want to thank everybody who, who likes the show, who watches the show, and especially the people who leave the nice, lovely comments. So thank you so much, guys. Please make sure to share and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye now. Bye.